Today we're going to learn about Index Match, which many Excel experts say is far superior to VLOOKUP. So let's take a look. The way VLOOKUP works is you tell it the value you're looking for. We're looking for the school ranked number one. So you select your data array and VLOOKUP will try to find that value, number one, in the leftmost column. Then it will return any value to the right of that number. So just tell it what column you want your data from. And we want column two with the school names. And this zero here tells Excel that you want an exact match. And for, if we want tuition, we're going to look at column number three. There are a few problems with VLOOKUP. If I, the column numbers are hard coded, so if I go in here and add a column, everything gets screwed up. Your lookup value always has to be to the left of your data. If you move the rankings to after the school names, everything breaks. Okay, so let's take a look at index match and how it's different. So here we're gonna say index. Index asks you for the array of the data you want, and here the data we want is school name. It's in that column. And then it asks you for the row number. Which data do you want? Well, we want the top ranked school. Well, which row is the top ranked school in? We're gonna use another formula to figure that out. We're gonna match this one in this column. Zero for exact match. And that's gonna return the row number. And because the columns are the same size, when match figures out which row the number one ranked school is in, Index knows what row the name is in. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Great, and drag it down. We're gonna do the same thing for tuition. Index, where is the tuition data that we want? In column E, F4. And now we have to match what row do we want. Well, we want the row that this ranking is in. And highlight the rankings. Zero for exact match. There is our tuition for each school. As you move down, you're now trying to find three in the rank column and so forth. Now, as you can see, the ranking is not to the left of the rest of the data. And also, if I add in columns here, nothing goes wrong. Everything is wonderful. And you can move things around and there are no problems with our data. And that's the difference between VLOOKUP and index match. Hopefully you have your own favorite now. And please let me know what your favorite is in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.